when you're in a teaser first comes to your company, it's got a couple things on it. It's got the Linux operating system on the host, and they have got one user over there. Then they've got one user on the database who's called admin, and they've got one database called public. Every time a user is added, they're added to the public database. And that's how it all begins. Now, take a look at this picture here. You can see the host. That's going to take the SQL from the user, and it's going to come up with a plan. It's going to pass that plan to those SPOOs. Now look at these SPOOs. We've got three tables out here. And what I want you to notice is that each and every one of those tables is spread across every single SPOO. That's the way it works. There's never going to be a SPOO that says, I've got three tables and another that says, I've got four. Because as soon as a table is created, that table description is copied across every SPOO. When the data is loaded, that is designed to load across every single SPOO. Whether there's four of them, eight of them, or 2,000 of them. That's the way it works. So think about it and get it in your head. One more question for you. If there were 500 tables out here, what would SPU 1 be responsible for? A portion of all 500 tables. Take a look at this. I've color coded it for you. My table has nine rows in it. And in this case, I've got three SPUs. Three rows are going to SPU 1. Three rows are going to SPU 2, and three rows are going to SPU 3. Again, all of the data has been spread across all of the SPUs. They've got an equal amount of that data, and that's perfect for parallel processing. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Click on the choice below to learn more about Nexus's amazing features.